hi guys welcome back it's me again welcome back to my youtube channel so i'm sure you guys are really really curious about what happened right so without wasting more of your time we're going to dive before right before then please if you're a new person on this channel do not forget to subscribe like comment and share even if the video literally just started don't worry just like it i'm sure you're going to really love the video okay so don't think about it yeah like comment share subscribe thank you so much guys now let's dive right into it remember that we stopped um at where um i was on the road and there was nobody um, that could speak english around me i couldn't speak. and i couldn't speak russian either so there's no way have nobody that knows how to speak english around like it was it was crazy for me and okay so during this period was um when summer was already going and um, autumn was coming in so it was already getting a bit chilly and stuff and you know me now ignorant child all was like worrying that day i was wearing um, a long thick skirt and um a normal shirt and just a small jacket shirt in case it gets cold and i was wearing jesus sandals can i don't know if you guys remember but there's a picture of jesus sandals here yeah that was what i was wearing that day so when i realized that this person was taking too long i had two um ghana muscles two big bags you know food stuff and dress stuff and stuff so i just had those two bags with me and i had to find a way to start moving them around by myself and i had to go out of the comp compound because they began to ask me that okay you're supposed to be on your way to they began to you know get you at me and stuff like that and since i did not really understand what they were saying i just carried my things and went outside the building luckily for me in front of the building there were chairs where i could sit down so i put my things there i sat down there i started calling i started calling my prayers hey mom so so and so this guy said this this guy said that i am still waiting for him so the guy that arranged my travel stuff he he started looking for another person that was going to take me because now this person has disappointed him and has left me somewhere which was not good so it was just a whole, a whole lot of ethic so after i called the guy told me that i should just calm down i was going to contact people that would come and pick me so i said okay now i'm outside i'm shivering i have jesus and us all remember and i'm shivering and um i'm just there and I decided, oh, okay, let's see. Let maybe I will get lucky to meet someone that understands English. I have the directions to my hostel, so let me try and speak to some Russians. Maybe I just might be lucky. And I stood up. Um, I did that. Someone just walked down the road, and then I tried to approach some people. Oh my God, I felt like shit. <laughs> I'm serious. I felt like something else that day. Like the way they were like, please, please. And you know, because of you know, rumors and things that they already know about black people who are already staying here. So like, the first thing they think of when a black girl walks up to you, like their heads start going a while. Like, okay, she's probably a this, a that, and they don't even bother. You will be lucky to actually see someone that walk up to you and talk to you. So I did that twice, three times, four times. I wasn't lucky, and I was like, oh well, please. Well, I'm here, and somehow, somewhere, I'm going to get to my hostel tonight. That's all I know. And I went back to where I was sitting down, and then I sat there. And um, a Russian lady walked up to me. I can't forget her name. Her name is Ola. Um, she walked up to me, and apparently, she was trying to preach to me because, well, I told you when they see a black, a black lady standing by the road, they have this in their mind probably you know you get right she's probably one of those girls and um she came she walked up she walked up to me i was trying to talk to me and then she realized that i didn't understand russian language and um she the few english words that she knew she tries to say it she's saying things like bible church christian and stuff i was like oh yeah yeah i read the bible and she noticed that we couldn't go anywhere we were talking and then she saw that i was cold and she gave me a stalking, like, 
I was touched, like really at that moment, you know, before I left home, they already told me that, ah, Russians, they find it hard to trust people, they are not really good, that uh, stuff, stuff, blah, 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 a lot of negative things about Russians. So when I saw that, like, I was, I was so moved, I was so touched because, well, I was freezing, guys. I was freezing by the roadside. And she gave me a very thin, there's this thin stockings that they wear here. And I was so grateful and um, she left and told me bye and I was waiting for the call, still trying to call. And then this person, the guy that helped me to come here, he was calling me and I was, oh, okay, this is what happened and we we're just talking on the phone. And then someone walked by me and dropped a pair of canvas, like, I mean a pair of canvas. And then I was like... You know, I was still on the phone trying to talk to someone, so I was like, oh, thank you, thank you. Like, I was still, it was so confusing because I had a lot of mis mixed emotions at that point in time. Like, I was so grateful, I was surprised, I was shocked, I was tired, I was hungry. I was just a lot of things at that point in time. And, like, the fact that I'd already heard a lot of negative things about these people. This person was a Russian guy, and I, I later figured that this person was um, one of the guys that attended to me inside the school. He couldn't speak English, but he attended to me. He attended to me inside the school, and then I think he noticed that I was sitting outside. My my own concern, like what was just going through my mind, was how he was able to get my shoe size. He literally went to just buy the shoe, and me, because I'm a special being. <laughs> I didn't have a regular shoe size, like really, my legs, are, my feet are big, so, but they fit me properly, it was warm, I was, I was taking the back, really, I was so happy, I just changed, I removed my Jesus sandals, I put them one side, and I wore my canvas with the stockings that the other lady gave me, and there I was, still waiting, and thankfully, they were able to, um, they were able to get someone to come and pick me and I was just so grateful that day the person came was so nice he got my things for me he ordered a taxi without collecting anything from me he ordered a taxi for me and then asked if I had any dollars of me that so he could help me change it we went to the changing place together we changed the money and gave it to me so I could have something to train with when I'm at home and then he took me to my hostel he made sure I was comfortable he talked to my commander, they took me to my room, and I was settled them guys. Remember I told you I got to Moscow 4 p.m., right? Guess the time I got to my hostel, I was settled. Just guess. Are you able to guess? <laughs> Drop your guess in the comment section, but then let me shock you. Can I shock you guys? <laughs> okay, so I was just settled 12 midnight. 12 midnight guys from 4 p.m. I was so exhausted. I was tired. I was everything you can think of and um, You know now it's my ninja babe The guy that collected money for me, but he He took me to Burger King. It's just like KFC and he got me burger. He got me fries. He got me Pepsi The guy did not tell me that there was Pepsi inside the bag Me, I just carried the upper and put it inside my box so I opened box. That's how I opened my box, and then Pepsi was all over my clothes. It was soaked. I was mad. <laughs> I was so angry. I was like, oh God. I just took out my things. Even with the way I was tired, I was able to still bring out some of my things, um, arrange them, put them in the right places. And as a bush ninja girl, I saw a burger. It was my first time seeing burger. I was like, what the hell is this? Like, I don't know what this is. So, because maybe because I was tired, I was hungry though, but I just took out the meat that was inside. I ate it with my potato, and that was what I ate, and I went to bed. My dears, that day, I didn't have words <laughs> to express how tired I was that day, but literally, that was how my experience went that day, and um. It was a whole lot of day, my guy. It was it was a stressful day, and um, I think the highlight for it for me was the fact that this person that came to meet me at the airport, I wouldn't say he was like a stranger because apparently when I was back in Nigeria when I went to get my visa to come to Russia, 
me and my father actually met this person so when my father was told that oh is this the sole person that was going to come and pick me it was rest assured because well it's not like a stranger we kind of became acquaintances when we got to the embassy so my father was at peace that okay at least i know this person that my daughter that's going to pick my daughter from the airport this person is someone that we met so we're like ah, it's our ninja brother now so it's going to be all fine it's going to be good but was this it was still the same person that actually duped me of my money so now as at that time the equivalent of 200 dollars would have been about 12,000 rubles yeah about yeah about 12,000 rubles and um how much that being naira mm, 12 times six, whatever i get that's what it is naira yes so um it duped me of that just for the few things that i said it was going to get for me and it was it was very it was very heartbreaking when i realized you know when i changed the money and saw the words and like it was plain on my ignorance which was not really nice because now i'm supposed to feel safe with my own brothers but then i did not feel safe so luckily for me i met some nigerian guys that i told my issue to and they were like oh we, we know that guy we're gonna find him and do this and that they helped me track him down and i was about i was able to get about a hundred dollars from him and i'm really still grateful to those guys really because that first it was a whole lot of something for me and I really thank God it went well. I hope you really did enjoy my story. And uh, if there's any other thing you guys are probably curious about, just drop it in the comment section and um, let me know what your thoughts are and which of which part of my story got you intrigued. Okay? Please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Okay, guys? I would really appreciate that. And do not forget to click that bell there down there somewhere maybe here or there just don't forget to click the bell so you get notifications of when i drop new videos okay guys i really love you guys thank you so much for being my faithful subscribers and please don't forget to share like comment let me know your thoughts and contributions to me i would really really do appreciate it thank you guys love you ciao ciao now i'm just gonna give you another snippet of me goofy Thank you.